G'day. You need to listen for what you do not want to hear. G'day. 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 Whenever we ask a question or seek feedback, we already know the answer that we want. We know what it is that we want to hear. And what happens is when somebody gives us an answer that includes at least the bit that we want to hear, we kind of tune out. We stop listening to the other stuff. And oftentimes, the comments around that are the valuable bits. They may well say they love your product. That's what we wanted to hear. And then you tune out. But if you had have listened a bit further, they would have also told you that the packaging wasn't exactly great or the price was a little bit expensive but you didn't hear that really. I mean, you heard it, but you didn't really listen to it. And so you walked away thinking, product's great. We did our product marketing test. People love our product. It's all good, but it's not all good. It's pretty good, but not all good. So it's important that whenever you're seeking feedback, whenever you're asking those questions, make sure you tune yourself in to almost tune out the bits that you want to hear. Make sure that you tune in to the bits that you do not want to hear. Alrighty. That is it for today. I do thank you for your time, and I will be back again tomorrow. See ya.